Let's start recording. Okay, cool. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the second bonus episode of Well, There's Your Problem. About that one time I bought a van for $3,500, $3,600 from an extraordinarily disreputable dealer in the Poconos and how it ruined my fucking life for two years. I was shocked <laughs> by the inclusion of the word hundred. You paid thirty-six hundred? Yes. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Why, I, though? Because I'm dumb as dog shit, Alice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's, let's, let's skip all of the introduction shit. You know who we are. We have a guest. Riley from Trash Future. Riley, say something. Hi, it's me, Riley from Trash Future. You remember me from all, the, all those other shows. Yeah, the podcast that you're listening to right now. Um, I forgot momentarily that I'm not the main host of this one, and I actually do have to say who I am. Yeah. Hi, I'm, I'm so Riley, much. Alice Alice is co-host from that other podcast that she does, Trash Future. Yeah, Alice's friend from school. No, we, um, we, actually, also Justin is not the main host of this one, this is all Liam. Yeah, uh, so, uh, start in advance, everybody. <laughs> yeah, this is a thing that we're doing, yeah, there's a thing that we're doing with the, with the Patreon episodes, where I guess taking it in turns, I guess the next one is gonna be something I'll have to come up with, but yeah, this is Liam's show now. Oh, I, I'm very excited. I'm already getting very nostalgic for um, high school, uh, where uh. Um, like a, a lot, a lot of people were just sort of given vans or cars or whatever. Yeah, the the van sort of accumulates around <laughs> the teen. Yeah, and, yeah. and then just sort of <laughs> existed in them. That that was the dream, but alas, uh, it was not to be. Yes. Uh, what happens to a van deferred? Uh, bad <laughs> shit, as it turns out. And my parents' neighbors threatening to call the township because they don't like a disassembled uh, engine block right there in my parents' driveway because they are fascists. <laughs> True. True. Uh, York, so, Pennsylvania, that's folks. What, that's what fascism is all about. Yeah. Mm. Uh, <laughs> so this is the interior of my 1999... Uh, Chevy Express 1500 conversion van, uh, originally manufactured by or, or redone uh, by a company that no longer exists called Starcraft, or rather their van division <laughs> no longer exists. They went bankrupt uh, <laughs> some time ago. Yeah, they still make buses and shit. They didn't build enough pylons. <laughs> yeah, they didn't build the pylons. Why did you get a Starcraft van? Uh, because, so, uh, I have always wanted a van. Okay. Relatable. Yeah. Uh, and way back in high school, I was gonna buy a van, and my dad was afraid of whatever impact that would have on my social standing. Uh, Probably <laughs> reasonably so. Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. well, because what I was gonna do was buy a white cargo van and paint free candy on the side. <laughs> <laughs> and then actually hand out free candy. Just to see what the township would do about it. Just being trailed around by a convoy of cop cars the whole time. Yeah, come at me, Spring Garden Township Police. Or, do, or just like health health inspectors trying to like vet you for free candy and then libertarians get all up in, the, in their business. Yeah. That's who I want defending me, is fucking John McAfee. Yeah. Alright, so here you can see... Uh, the van as it sits right now, right this very moment, in my parents' driveway. Uh, you can see uh, foam from the seats has come out. Are you gonna John Madden my van? Yeah, if you yeah. want, if you want. Yeah, I do. Uh, it, it won't let me use the pen. Please. I can only this use is, the laser pointer. This is What's okay? this is fucking the 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 same thing happened to. Uh, the Columbia Shuttle and your van. You had a foam strike. <laughs> yes, exactly right. Uh, and then in the middle, uh, right beneath the center console, you can see uh, the partially disassembled engine. If you'll mm. notice. Uh, it's where you want it. Where the, va the way these vans work is that they have an extremely stubby, short little hood because they just cram the fucking truck engine under, like, the passengers. So the seats are heated, but accidentally. <laughs> I, I, I'm just loving all of that walnut paneling. That's so delightful to me. It was so good. It was so good. My favorite part of of the van, uh, genuinely, was the fact that it was so wide I could reach my arm, uh, and not touch my passenger. 
So you that's, would just yeah, it was that's fucking a good van. Amazing. That's a good van in this in this the age of me too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. No, 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 no. Ignore the free candy joke. Yeah, was, was, was trying to get the gummy bear that she had like got on the seat. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, oh, honestly, fuck. with this van, that Simpsons episode is pretty uneventful. Mm. <laughs> See, Mr. M- Mr. Anderson, I warn you, you're only incriminating yourself further. <laughs> so, all right, moving swiftly along. Uh, if my uh, co-presenter could move the laser pointer to the bank of overhead switches. Oh, I see. Uh, I thought you wanted me to go to the next slide because I'm your grad student now, apparently. So these controlled the uh, the opera lights in the back. Uh, it had additional lighting. One of them was supposed to control the TV that didn't ever work. And uh, beneath the aftermarket stereo that our friend Derek installed, you can see with the DVD drive uh, that was supposed to work and also never did. Uh, mm. This is also one of the greatest vehicles Chevrolet ever made because beneath the steering wheel is the crotch vent, which I cannot <laughs> emphasize enough how much I miss. So wait, hold on. What DVD has been in that DVD player for the last several years and is still I in there? I honestly have, have no idea. Certain. Statistically, it is Scary Movie Two. Yeah, yeah I was. I, <laughs> I think uh, Alice has said something very believable here. I believe that is definitely one of the like um, parody films of the mid two thousands. It is a parody Probably. film of the mid two thousands, and also everyone had a crush on Anna Faris. So I, I think did not. that's probably uh, yeah. you did? Uh, only Anna Kendrick. I will only uh, ever love Anna Kendrick. Mm. All right. So not pictured are the numerous tins of dip and whatever else. Uh, next slide, please. Next slide. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Doesn't seem like a high pressure operation <laughs> at all. <laughs> this place is fucking amazing. I, so uh, can I ask a quick question before you yeah, go into it? Yeah. Is that a bomb that? Where, but the hours are on a guitar pick. Yes. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. So it's yeah. it's like a rock and roll explosion of bands. Yeah. Yes. Just hold on, Riley. It gets worse. Oh, good. <laughs> so graphic design is, and I cannot emphasize this enough, my passion. Also, what, are, also what are the fireworks. specials? What are the specials today? I like the fireworks. Uh, they were too. a truck with like 170,000 miles and like a Dodge. Sedan from like 2009. I, just I looked... want to buy that truck. I fuck a Dodge Neon, but I do want to buy like a truck that has been to the moon and back. I mean, <laughs> there are worse things to spend your money on, like a van for thirty six hundred dollars. Uh, <laughs> yeah, did you click on the under seven thousand yes, dollars thing? Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. And I, uh, I, I made the trip up there with my roommate, uh, ex roommate. Not do not eat, unfortunately. I don't know what the fuck you were doing. Uh, Test drove it, and I was like, yeah, like, it needs work, but I'll buy it, because I'm a big, dumb, idiot asshole. Uh, (laughs) Were those your exact words? (laughs) Pretty much. Hi, Uh, I'm a moron. Sell me a car, please. (laughs) I, 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 the other thing... One auto, kind (laughs) sir. Was after I bought it, the guy was like, do you want to buy a piece of property? So this is the weird part of Pennsylvania where all of us have southern accents for some reason. Uh, and the guy yeah, was what, like, what's yeah, up with that? Yeah, I'm still not like he was still like a 150 acre plot of land in the absolute goddamn middle of nowhere. And it was just like, yeah, you could shoot guns all day. Like that was the shit he led with, which like, <laughs> you know, I've been to. But it was just yeah, like, I, I, I do <laughs> like that idea. Yeah, I, you never exactly. told me about YouTube that part. Even yeah. a thing yet, though? Yeah, you, like... this was two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, back in back in wait. 1987. Wait, 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 wait. So, sorry, this van purchase was made in 2018, 2017, 2017. <laughs> Alice, are you sticking by your scary movie? Is the DV to scary, scary movie two? Ooh. Is the DVD lingering in that DVD yeah, player? Here's the thing. I was a grown ass man with a college degree when I made this decision. Okay. Oh, so. um, <laughs> okay, I, I I revised my opinion to uh, suggest that instead it was white chicks. <laughs> no, it was it, it was inside Lewin Davis. Oh, oh. timeless classic. Yeah, uh, Bangor, Pennsylvania. I hardly know her. Is is an incredible little town just in the middle of the Poconos, 
and Look, it was just ba- absolutely- Bangor, Maine. Ba- sorry, ba- ba- uh, in, in the UK, Bangor, Wales, and Bangor, Northern Ireland. Also incredible little towns. I hardly it, knew There's her. something I incredible about, the, about having a town called Bangor. I hardly knew her. I should have had the mm. Paul Bunyan statue in here. Uh, <laughs> next, next slide, please. Next slide. All right. You just doxed that guy. You just like gave him free advertising by like putting up his like office and cell phone number. I will buy the property. So sorry. This is one of those vans that looks like it has like a bedroom in it. Yes, it had mm. a, it, the power couch. Always worked. Um, so you basically, you're Ray from Trailer Park Boys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is is yeah. is it a power couch in the same way that a power tie, or like <laughs> is is it powered? In that it, I mean, it reclined when you hit a button. It was fucking sick. It became oh, a luxury. Bed. Yeah, it was cool. Uh, you can tell it's good because it's got New Jersey inspection, a state uh, famous for its rigorous <laughs> inspection. Uh, yeah, you, you, you gotta put a crimper on the windshield. Yeah. I noticed in this photo that the floor, the running boards are still attached. So, <laughs> oh, so yeah, that did, that did come undone at some point. Yeah, yes. and see that bumper is already how, hanging. How is, how, how is your Secret Service detail supposed to like ride on the outside? Uh, well, do, sorry, for President Pennsylvania's comeback. <laughs> <laughs> Look how many people, you could just sit on the roof of that fucking thing. Uh, the clearance was like 11.9. Like, like it's a also, train in India? Yeah. <laughs> are, 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 are we saying that, like, your Secret Service detail is what just, like, some guys in basketball shorts who are, like, kind of drunk? Yeah. And, <laughs> It's just or like, just sort of sit, they, they sitting on top of the, the thing. Secret Service with yeah. that. Yeah, it's actually just a just bunch like, of Delco trash. Hey, you leave <laughs> yeah. Kieran alone. I don't have Kieran be my security detail. He probably would fuck Yeah, I'm bad. the special president from the middle of Pennsylvania. <laughs> <laughs> there's the president of America, and then there's me, and we're like equal. <laughs> I can't do any accent other than the one I'm doing right now, an astonishingly posh British. There, there's, there's no other one I can do, but I'm trying to do a Pennsylvania one. If, if you I, know, me and my buddies and my Secret Service my detail went down Mike the shore and, my, and <laughs> went down there to Wawa, <laughs> Ventnor Avenue. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this man made it to New Jersey. We'll get there. Yeah, yeah, we'll get there to Atlantic oh, City. <laughs> fuck yeah! All right. Uh, so here you can see uh me filling the van for the very first time because this is the kind of fucking car dealership that didn't even give you a full tank of gas uh <laughs> <laughs> like i'm not not smart i am not smart and i uh yeah liam liam what else <laughs> did you sign with you with that uh, well yeah do you do you have a reverse mortgage <laughs> no, no, I don't. who who owns your organs are you sure it's you uh no i sold those to a guy named mike down at the wawa on vetner avenue like nine years ago yeah he said he was in the pennsylvania president's secret service so it was pretty legit not yeah. to brag or anything <laughs> you just flash a picture of our lieutenant governor up on screen I was about to say, yeah, I'll put 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 John Fetterman up there. You know what we should do? when we get when we get merch, we absolutely have to do a Pennsylvania president secret <laughs> service <laughs> detail. <laughs> like a, a hoodie or something. Oh, it's yeah. just like a guy with like a flat like snapback, but with like an earpiece. Have have, have you <laughs> seen have you seen what our lieutenant governor looks like? Mm. Oh, how, that's do you, a slide. how do you spell his name? How do you spell his name? I'm gonna put him up here for a second. I'm looking forward to a real to a white guy with white hair and a really oval, almost pointy head. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I'm, no. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping for like Anna Lind, the Swedish foreign minister who has the dreadlocks. Ah, uh, yes. Or wait, it's either a guy. It's either a guy with a really sort of narrow, pointy head with balding white hair, or it's a guy who's completely spherical. Oh, there yeah. he is. Oh, there he is. Yeah, cool. Cool. rescue. Nah. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a like, great he's, dude. Yeah, he's like a really left wing guy. Um, he's just ah, you he know, seems cool. He's just seven foot ten or whatever. This is, this is like I, I, very similar to when Michael Moore discovered like Richard Ojeda in uh, West Virginia and was just like, why doesn't the left have chads like this? Yeah, it's, it, the the position of lieutenant governor in my experience very rarely goes to a left wing guy. Hmm. He replaced, he replaced another lieutenant governor who was an absolute asshole. I mean, as far as I'm aware, where I come from in Canada, 
uh, lieutenant governor is just the queen's representative in the province. Um, it, it's it's not really a political position, and more something that's given as an honorific to uh, like other, um, other 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 thing. It's like the uh, vice premier of a province. Got yeah, yeah. But we fought a war over this, so isn't it? Uh, isn't it lieutenant? It would be lieutenant in in in, in us. Yes, I just I'm trying. I'm on an American podcast, so I'm trying to um, change my usage of words yeah I, you fuck you don't know the extent to which i americanize myself for these guys i <laughs> fucking capture I mean, all of these and i misspell so many things <laughs> i mean okay. alice if anyone on this call is keenly aware of the extent to which you are americanizing yourself right now it would be me mm. podcasting is labor please contribute to our patreon yeah, well, they already are if they're listening to this this is a good yeah. point yes, yes. but c c contribute more go up a tier People, yeah. just, people have started donating 10, 15, I'm just like, oh my god. Go, go to the, tier. like, go to the $25 secret, secret service tier, uh, where we, <laughs> like, ship you secret, secret, service. Your secret yeah. service tier. Yeah, but, like, we, should, we, we, we will ship you an earpiece, uh... <laughs> and a flat and, brim yeah, hat. And, and then when the we do live shows... Amish... Yeah, like in when, <laughs> when when we do live shows, your job will be to, to like defend us physically. <laughs> yeah, uh, you can be near the stage and tell people where they can't go. Th this is fucking like. What if this is the thing that creates the counterpoint to Proud Boys? Is we accidentally <laughs> create the fucking rot Kampferbund uh, out of like Pennsylvania guys who wanted to listen to a podcast about a van? <laughs> We're changing America, damn it. Mm. Uh, next slide, please. <gasps> next slide. Why is Do it I the color have... that it is? Uh, it's, it's the beige color. bomber, Alice. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real... <laughs> it's real taupe, huh? <laughs> um, ooh, that's yeah, a different band. So that's how it should look. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh, that's, that's a big van. That's a lot of van. Yeah, this is America, motherfucker. <laughs> that is... Yeah, that's, that's, that's a pleasant van, though. I like that van. Yeah, this uh, is yeah. how a Chevy Express normally looks from this era. Now show me the Pennsylvania Secret Service one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just back wanted to include. Slide. Next yeah. slide, please. Next slide. Next slide. Already. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is where the Pennsylvania Secret Service earpieces come from. <laughs> yeah, totally. Amongst other things. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, it, it's where they get it's where they get the out the the speakers the sound systems that they listen to trapped on Ooh, puddle of mud stained okay i cannot emphasize enough that this is a real place yeah Me uh, megatronics is a real place i was there <laughs> and and it's unbelievable you want to talk about yeah. it you want to talk about your experience I will talk about my um my my experience at Meg Megatronics. We drove forever to go to the middle of nowhere to go to this barn, which I assume the Amish put up. <laughs> and and they say car audio and more, right? The, and the, and more they mean is it. doing a lot of work here. The, the the Amish just really into like B sides and rarities from Clutch. <laughs> yeah, the, the thing, literal the thing goddamn I, I, samurai swords. Yeah, yeah, they they seem to be like they're they're a car radio and sword store first and foremost. <laughs> well, look, come on, everybody, they're an entire this... people that all have neck beards. Come this on, is, th this is the outfitters for our secret secret service. <laughs> yes, uh, <laughs> we will be taking them to Megatronics. Car audio and more. <laughs> yeah, you, you will be issued a katana. <laughs> you'll be issued a katana and an airsoft gun that you'll talk about how it's converted from a real gun so it's similar yeah you you, you like tried to saw the orange tip off i like that i like the hours sunday and monday by chance yeah that store is absolutely fucking incredible megatronics audio is the mega barn bargain audio store where you can find countless items at lower, <laughs> affordable prices. Stop by our Manchester <laughs> store for just about anything. Car audio equipment, movies, video games, CDs, digital cameras, TVs with an apostrophe, MP3 <laughs> players, collectibles, <laughs> gifts, accessories, and more. The list of treasures you will find is endless, making your shopping experience at Megatronics Audio, York, Pennsylvania, 
unforgettable. It was You'll never know what you'll find. <laughs> we also buy your used movies, video game systems, tools, car audio equipments, collectibles, and more. Get, just give us a call. We went in there, and there was just car audio, there were swords, there was home audio, there was, like, bulk blank DVDs, not, like, in a spindle, just fucking in a bin. No. <laughs> you, you, you know what this is? You know what this is? Have you ever seen a business where you wanted the, like, hobo sign for a fence lives here? Like, to, like, <laughs> carve it into the fence post outside? Yeah. This is, like, untrustworthy person. I want I want to go somewhere where I could buy a, a jigsaw, um, several Slipknot albums, uh, a katana. <laughs> You'll um, find it. I'll find all that and more at Megatronics, York, Pennsylvania. Maybe like some out of date Warhammer forty thousand codexes, like just mm. a bunch of different things. So we we went here to get an aftermarket stereo uh, for the van, which my friend Derek installed. And then as we were driving back from Mountville, Pennsylvania, in the dead of night, fucking rods decided that all we were going to listen to was ABBA. At <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did do that. Four, I you wanted, were to, I wanted to shit. piss off. Yeah, I was very drunk <laughs> and I wanted to piss off the Amish. <laughs> Just you screaming the lyrics to Dancing Queen, half hanging out my window, like oh, God. flipping off barns. <laughs> <laughs> But I remember just being like, if he, if he hits his head on a side post, whatever, man. Like that, that is that is my Pennsylvania president right there. <laughs> this uh, this man took a limited amount of drives, but one of them was actually ferrying my friends to a wedding in York. Did did, the, did did you put the like uh, the streamers on it and the like cans and everything? I no. just want to point out that Megatronics has a Twitter. Do they? <laughs> oh. And a VIP email list. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm gonna follow them from the uh yeah, from you the should. podcast account. <laughs> let's let's see what tweets they have. It's an extremely it's an extremely good place. I, I had a nice time there. Yeah. Did they, did they have guns endorsement. I think no, that, no, no, they, they did not have guns. Okay, yeah. Because you might have to do some paperwork about you're obviously fucking <laughs> extremely stolen. <laughs> What, what, is, what is their Twitter account? I'm searching for Megatronics, and I'm like <laughs> five things down. Megatronics Music in Brighton, England? No. Megatronics Mobile in Beaumont, Texas? No. Uh, uh, manufacturer of Logilocate Megalarm and Viking Systems? No. What what is the, what what is their Twitter account? All right, I'm searching it. I'm searching it's it right now. Have they, have they deactivated At it? Megatronics Audio. At Megatronics oh, Audio, I'm following the shit out of this. Yeah, <laughs> incredible. Five followers, and uh, uh, Justin, you are one of them. Yes, yes. Megatronics Audio. <laughs> I'm putting this on screen. Please follow them. They are very nice people. I, I had a very nice time They're at that store. So fucking confused. <laughs> they have they have one tweet, no replies, no likes, and the tweet simply reads, as you see there, "Hello Twitter!" Exclamation mark. Megatronics is your place in the York, Pennsylvania area for car audio and stereo <laughs> equipment at discount prices. We hope to see you soon. It has one retweet, one like, and it was in the 1st of November 2015. I just retweeted and liked it. So <laughs> you, those are you, the two. You, you are the only yeah, <laughs> yeah. You are the only person to have engaged. I'm, I'm, I'm with... on the way to making Megatronics a serious social oh. media presence. We absolutely, <laughs> yeah. We absolutely have to make that happen. <laughs> so one of the the drives we took at this van was like I said to my friend's wedding. A uh, wedding which I was not invited to, by the way. Uh, huh. And You you crashed it yeah, as in it, your van. As it turns out, uh, people were very terrified of the van's body roll. Because as you can imagine, a high roof van with a V8 in it, uh, you know, goes, goes sliding <laughs> a bit. It goes sliding a bit. And as I mentioned, our, our mutual friend Derek basically pissed and shit himself. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is 
you know, uh, the, like the, the the kind of steering where like you could move the wheel like a full rotation before anything started happening. <laughs> and this being me driving on the back roads of York, where I know where the cops are and are not, I'm just like woohoo, like fifty miles an hour in a vehicle that should just flash rollover risk every every two to five minutes. That's beautiful. Uh, that's that's an inspiration. Thank you. Next slide, please. <laughs> Next slide. All right. Oh, oh, just boy. just so you know, I'm I'm back on on recording now. Yes, okay. um, Riley. I, I have. I'm gonna I'm gonna just tell uh, or uh, the 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 trash future people to just get me a copy of Audition for my Mac because this is very very annoying. <laughs> this is what the van oh. looks like now. Uh, oh. As you can see, parts of the seat. Love what you've done with the place. Thank you. Oh. Disassembled. Uh, that's a sheet in the back. Uh, cause I have slept out there a couple times and I get bored. Uh, of course. <laughs> you can see the lovely- this is, this is, this is why you have to upgrade your Patreon tier. Yeah. Get this man a bed. <laughs> so, He's got the power couch. Yeah, it's the power couch way there in the back. You can see, uh, if my, if my grad student assistant, what do I even pay you for? Well, uh, I, I, uh, I, I, that I pay you. With, with the headphone jacks. What, here? <laughs> Up yeah, here? yeah. Is that no, what I'm looking that, for? That, yeah, no, down the, here. Up, 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 up. Yeah, up. right there. Right here. Right below that. That's good. Below there. Yeah, right there. Here. So is, those is are headphone jacks. Yeah, those are headphone jacks. Remember, <laughs> because it was supposed to be that every passenger could listen to their own audio feed. Uh, you, you, you could, could li all listen to competing podcasts. Yeah, you could listen to the TV <laughs> or the radio or CDs. Uh, if you so chose, and no one had to talk to anyone, you, you, you could all listen to like independently different albums of Puddle of Mud <laughs> <Yeah>. or Stains. <laughs> you and your boys could listen to four different Creed albums if you so chose. <laughs> look, look, I'm just saying that I I need Everlast to drive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is this is a medicinal copy of some forty ones. Does this look infected? I oh, it's better than listening to fucking ABBA. Look, I have a special category of license that you can only get in Pennsylvania, where you have to listen to jump around. <laughs> it's like one of those like, DUI breathalyzers, but instead they have to make sure you're listening to the right stained album. <laughs> I mean, this is basically like being on the L when the guy comes around and says, CDs, DVDs, movies, you know, you can listen to all of those through this. Really, really want to buy some like Evanescence or something. Yes. You know? I was not an Evanescence man. I was a My Chemical Romance man. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so, sorry, you, to you, be, you, to you be get fair, pulled over. My chemical, my chemical Romance holds up a lot better. Like, uh, yeah. Sorry, A.B. Lee, your music is terrible. Yeah, <laughs> the, the cops pull you over and they see your license has like a, a straight a straight black fringe and a spacer, and you're like, I'm gonna need to see some Evanescence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the, they look at your name and it has like a bunch of the, like three X's either side of it. <laughs> Just incredible. I'm only this gonna is listen to the minor look, threat. I've, I've never been to America outside of like New York City. Except for one time when I drove to New York City. This is my image of what every other place in America is. <laughs> that's pretty good. That's, that's actually pretty that's close. Not, yeah. pretty that's good. not entirely accurate. Sometimes it's hot outside. <laughs> oh, this is true, yes. Like, that, that, my image of the Southwest is this, but all of the plastic is starting to melt. <laughs> Welcome to Grover Van. Yeah, it smells, it smells seventy percent worse. There's like a scorpion living in there uh, that you're only going to discover so, when it's too late. Several scorpions and a snake. Mm hmm. But a coyote you, you, in there too. Mm hmm. The coyote has its own loop for a different stained album. <laughs> <laughs> and, and yet, and yet, you still think the coolest thing you could do is to be one of Bam Margera's party crew. <laughs> you just want to be God, Rob this, himself. Th th this van is like fucking the the king and the land are one. Bam Margera deteriorates as this van does. Like 
it's like a one to one map thing. The 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 power couch breaks and Bam Margera's back goes out and yeah, the, it's just no, the power the when the power couch stopped actually going up and down, then Bam Margera did his uh epically latered thing where he's in Barcelona and he forgot how to skateboard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, you you you're a you're a, like you're a flagship character in Tony Hawk's Pro Skater Three. Don't I am forget <laughs> how to well it, Tony like Tony Hawk's Pro Van. Oh, I I, <laughs> I play the fuck out of that. That was a good game, yeah. What? Where you mm. just have to like park in different places so you can smoke weed and go to sleep and no one will yeah, be able like, by you. horse with it, yeah. You have to like park on an H and then an no, O. No, and then no, an no, R. no. Parking this thing was not a uh, no, no, no. Also, <laughs> <laughs> in case you're wondering, those seatbelts uh, are movable. If in case the uh, the people on the couch way back there want to be belted in, uh, just to do some light bondage for your as, car sex. Yeah. As you awesome. do. Uh, yeah, so I was gonna say what. So if you get into a, a into an accident, then they can just go out in one smooth line. <laughs> <laughs> if you can be one uh, thing, like, you should be efficient. Uh, every every taking like, the if, northwest if, if Riley, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if if Riley is correct, and this is everywhere in America, then everywhere in America has a folk belief that you will be thrown clear of the accident if you don't wear a seatbelt, and yeah. that's what this yeah. looks like to me. No, that's accurate. No, everybody <laughs> who's ever driven this van has at least four instances of, and this is what they most have in common with France, of, uh, no, no, I drive better when I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, like, jo I, Joe I'm... Biden doesn't consider drunk driving a fel felony now, apparently. That's so. true. Yeah. Oh, so he's, he's got our endorsement, uh, of course. I am out of. I am now out of the peach schnapps. Look, I know that Delaware is not uh, the same as Pennsylvania, but if anyone's gonna be the Pennsylvania, like the Pennsylvania stupid guy president, it it's is true. Joe Biden. That is Just true. only Joe Put Biden a flat now. Cap on that man. Only he Joe is, Biden is, now. Joe Biden was born in Scranton, and also is the closest to having the secret Secret Service detail. Oh, this is true, yeah. Because he has a regular Secret Service detail. Uh, well, yeah, but they all have I, to wear the flat brims. Well, ironically, yeah, the most Pennsylvania part of Pennsylvania is Delaware County. That is uh, true. <laughs> God almighty. Uh, also, I want to be clear. Joe Biden wouldn't be the um, secret Pennsylvania president when he would have been doing segregation, because the secret Pennsylvania president uh, is actually, as politics are okay, it's old, uh, Biden is only the secret Pennsylvania president in the last couple of years. I see you do not uh, know about Pennsylvania <laughs> politics. <laughs> Are you going to drop some, like, York County Royale politics? Look, okay, <laughs> this is just my imagination. A lot of the state, it's a very bad state. You've been cut off by, um, both a senator and a governor, I believe, out of sheets. Yes, I have. I, well, no, I was cut off by, uh, by a gubernatorial <laughs> candidate uh, at at the sheets okay, on Queen but, Street, but, uh, Scott Wagner, who ran for governor of Pennsylvania uh, last year, uh, once cut me off in line at sheets and then explained that he was in a rush. And I just screamed at him until he went back in the back of the line where he belonged. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and also, I have yes. been, I've been cut off in the gas line by uh, York's representative, Scott Perry. Who can absolutely uh, go to hell? That guy's such a fucking dickwad. I just fucking hate I got, the guy. I I, I got two questions. Mm -hmm. Question one: Now that I have finished this disgusting peach-based alcohol, girl. should I move to? Uh, yes. Thank you. Should I move to bourbon or rum? And question yes. two: How many Confederate flags y'all got up there? So, me personally, zero. Obviously, mm. in York itself, York, Pennsylvania, the most northern town occupied by the Confederacy, because we surrendered without a fight. Uh, <laughs> all of them, all of them. York is absolutely racist to shit. Uh, and a as much as like I've made my peace with the place, it is just a godforsaken hellhole. Uh. You say you were cut off by a by a gubernatorial candidate named Wagner. Uh, in my Pennsylvania headcanon of the Pennsylvania Cinematic Universe, these related to Honus Wagner. Uh, no, because Honus Wagner was actually pretty cool. Ah, uh, yes. Well, you know, maybe he's like a cool uncle. No, huh. Scott Wagner can, can, can go to hell. I fucking hate his dumb face.
Okay. <laughs> no, no relation to the cool Pennsylvania Wagner. Yeah, Scott Wagner is also he's anti-Semitic. He's a whole bunch of of awful evil shit. And uh, mm. and he cut me off in line in front in a, in a fucking sheet. I was just trying That's to the worst I was thing. just trying to buy a tin of dip and and a Monster Energy drink because this is York. Wait, sorry, <laughs> sorry, you were trying to buy a tin of dip and a Monster Energy drink because you had to go to work in the Pennsylvania Secret <laughs> Service, and that's the official MRE of the Pennsylvania Secret Service. That will be the MRE. Well, what is, what is the nutritional bar. value of, like, a, a fucking Negative. A Monster Energy Negative. drink? <laughs> no, it's, like, the nutritional value of that is, like, you just got a good vibe, and you can chill, and, like, you know, you just, like, have to center yourself, and, like, stop bothering me, and that's what it says in the nutritional information. You're on, you're on the other side of the Susquehanna, so you don't get hoagies over there, because, sheets. Uh. you know, on this side of the Susquehanna, your MRE has, you know, you can buy any Wawa hoagie as long as it's under $5. <laughs> Which is basically none of them now. It's just, it's just, just some sounds to me. These are just sounds. <laughs> uh, Wawa is derived from the Lenape word for goose. Uh, I told my ex-girlfriend that once, and she didn't believe me, and then went to Wikipedia, and I was right, and then yelled at me about being a know-it-all. What's up? Yeah, anyway. it's de yeah. Not definitely taking her side in this one. It's one of those things that, like, epistemologically, even though it's true, it should be fake. There are Like, you should just have made that up. Technically, on both sides of the Susquehanna, thanks to their aggressive expansion into the oh, Washington- beachheads. They're in Florida and in the D.C. area. They're in, they're in Washington, D.C. too, which is disgraceful. They've, they've done some, like, Operation Torch-style landings. It is disgraceful. It's absolutely fucking embarrassing. Because all these D.C. nerds are just like, Oh my god, have you guys heard of Wawa? And it's like, get out of this fucking hell city. And just give me some <laughs> yeah. mambo sauce and fuck off. My favorite uh, D.C. story about this is the D.C., like, wonk lady who was like... Tweeting at Quiznos about like living dangerously by having a lobster sub from there. Oh, and then she died. And then she died from the thing. She got. I remember Quiznos that she, died. she wasn't and a wong. No, Alice, she wasn't a wonk. She was a Federalist writer. <laughs> and then Quiznos replied to her. It may have been after she died, even, and, and was like, "Yes, Queen, we love to see it." <laughs> from like a fatal sandwich poisoning. <laughs> why would oh, why would yeah. you get a, a lobster sandwich? Oh, no. from she, a chain in in DC. It might have been National yeah. Review. She was either at the National Review or the Federalist. Uh, I oh. remember this like it was yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Death by sandwich. R.I.P. <laughs> you know the thing F. about Quiznos is um. You know, you just like seeing the sandwich go through the, the big uh, oven with the conveyor belt. You, know? it's like, you see, that's, like that's that. the thing. Time, that's, the, that's the thing. That's the thing about American fast food. It's all the same place, and it's at di How dare different you? places. How dare you? Oh, oh no. Tell, tell me more about Timmy's. Tell me more about Timmy's. Your one restaurant. Where the fuck is my rum? Your one restaurant. No, no. Yeah, I, that, I'm talking that, about that. this from a British perspective. Even if you go to a Wawa, uh, there are lots and lots of Wawas, and... It's a Wawa. Yeah, because it's all fucking halal, isn't it? <laughs> My yeah. ambition to go to a Weatherspoon. And so, it's, but that's the, that's what Justin, I mean. when we do the first live show here, we'll do that. <laughs> in, in, in the US and Canada, there are lots and lots of chains, and fast food tends to be a chain thing. In Britain, not so, where it tends to more be like, fast food is just, it's just like a, like a guy just made a restaurant and then there's some meat on a skewer, and, and you go in, and it's 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 just sort of him and whatever he's doing, uh, and so Riles, uh, Riles, you, darling. Yes, uh, my counterpoint to this: Hast thou fucking considered Nando's, which is also in the U.S. now and Canada? Oh, really? Yeah, they're really? Like, Although, all in the DMV. They're all DC, Maryland, Virginia, except for uh, I was Illinois, say, I think. I, I was gonna say though, in in the town where I went to university, there was a um, like a a, a sort of a, a chicken cottage where they also had really good biryani, which you wouldn't expect from a chicken cottage. So I just like fast food in the UK is much more of a wild west than it is 
Uh, You're suggesting that it's more idiosyncratic and less predictable, and yet this lady got the, like, lobster hoagie or whatever and fucking (laughs) died. The least predictable (laughs) outcome of going to a Quiznos. Usually I do not expect to die from eating a sandwich. Um, Yeah, you expect to feel like it, maybe, but... (laughs) Yeah, you know, but, like, I don't expect to actually die from, from eating my delicious hoagie from... Well, no, they call it a sub at Quiznos. Um, yeah, you know, yeah, so, that, yeah. Ho- yeah. Hoagie is a Pennsylvania thing. This is right? this is the this is the most like fucked up thing since finding out that Panera Bread is like a two hundred year old company. What? Uh, <laughs> what? No, no shit. It's like they they renamed themselves Panera Bread, uh, like uh, as some corporate thing, and like I think like two thousand and five, and before that they were like the St. Louis Baking Company. Uh, established like fucking 1795 or some shit. The St. Louis Bread Company was established in 1987, Alice. That's close cultural, enough. That's cultural appropriation from Italians. Uh, that's true. Anyway, the van. Owned by Germans. Van. Mm. Oh, right. Yes, the, the van. van. Uh, the Germans. Uh, yeah, next slide, please. Oh, boy. Come on. Oh, boy. Oh. <laughs> I'm looking at the wrong screen. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> All right. So that I am, is. I am, looks I am like it's on... going well. So uh-huh. that is, uh, I'll actually have to talk to him before we release this. Um, in this photo. Oh, Jesus, I put way too much rum in this. The, this is my pal Derek, <laughs> uh, drinking, I believe, a Trogues pounder and flipping off the camera. I'm, I, what ex- the excuse me. That? Excuse me. A Trogues pounder Listen, is guys, the most guys, American be- thing before, I've ever heard. Before, before make you make beer. fun of Riley for <laughs> they this, make good beer. I will point out that the last Trash Future we recorded last night, he said that a brand of sparkling water had bubbles that were too sharp. So, like, bear that, <laughs> bear that in mind before, like, you decide to like explain beer to him. This is the level he's operating on. Look, Perrier just isn't very conducive to a nice, relaxing drink. Outstanding I've, work. I, I, I've, I've killed Justin. <laughs> Oh Jesus, that fucking You ever make a rum and coke that is like ninety-eight percent rum? Yeah, and the coke to color it. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm just saying that ba- like Badois is a nicer water to have. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The carbonation is wrong. I understand this. I, I, I just also think it's entertaining. Um <laughs> As indicated by the fact that I am laughing uncontrollably. Oh, <laughs> look, boy. I get, I get, I look. I, I'm, I'm used to getting, getting owned for being too fancy on Trash Future. That's fine. <laughs> You're on Normally, American like, podcast now. You can be fancy with impunity. That's right, but like I, normally, I'm used to being the fancy one. On uh, well, there's your problem. So this is like I'm just taking every opportunity to punch down. <laughs> <laughs> to punch down at me sinking into a bunch of velvet cushions. <laughs> yeah. Consumed by an overstuffed sofa. Uh, yes. He should 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 have got a power couch. I, I'm actually sitting on a chair that I imported from Canada because all the chairs in the UK are too small. Oh, <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> So, anyway, uh, so here you can see uh, that miserable, stubby little engine, uh, obviously mm-hmm. half of which is in the passenger compartment. Uh, the back doors are open for reasons I'm not actually sure about. Uh, Aerodynamics. Yeah, uh, yes. so we drank a bunch of beer, or Derek and Roz drank a bunch of beer, and installed a car stereo, which for months afterwards uh, still tried to connect to Roz's phone. And he yeah. could not, he yeah, could once not connected it the first time, it kept connecting forever. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'd be how, just how play, I, if I played music it? on my phone at any place that was near where the van was parked, it would randomly cut in <laughs> to becoming van audio. <laughs> <laughs> just randomly playing Apple. But how then sometimes another car would pass by with a similar stereo system that would <laughs> no. cut in to my phone. <laughs> huh. 
Yeah, Megatronics uh, <laughs> seems to have some ulterior <laughs> motives here. How how have MBS you constructed? Vibes. How have you constructed something that is ostensibly a conversion van and yet so spiritually is a Ute? <laughs> <laughs> Rack off, Bill. Rack off me, fucking Ute. Rack off me, fucking Ute, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's here's another fancy story. Uh, there's a really nice wine shop over the road from me where my friends and I went to go get a couple of glasses earlier, and it's owned by a, a very charming Australian lady. Uh, and I finally said to her, "Rack off me, fucking you, Bill," and she was like, "That's very good." And I was like, "Yes, <laughs> the greatest, the greatest thing to Riley. happen to me today." Riley, when when we do the live show in Glasgow, we're getting you some buck fast, and you can like, uh, oh yeah, do yes, yeah, I could be unconscious at yeah. ten a.m. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it sounds sounds like we're gonna do some libel. Mm. Uh, next we're Americans, live, we're immune. That's true. You you, no. you can't libel anybody. We just did a whole fucking episode about uh, Peter Thiel, and we couldn't say shit. So. Yeah. We, we we kept being like Peter Thiel, what a character. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> oh yeah, here's the second uh, audio. Uh, Jack's in the back for the uh, the couch passengers. Uh, I'm not sure how the hell they're supposed to plug plug in headphones all the way up there, but <laughs> it, that's where it was installed. I, I I'm just spending so much time appreciating the headrest and like the little like um. Di- di- <laughs> part of the like. That's thing. not a body, that's a pillow, by the way. I, I was gonna ask. <laughs> one of the things that I do to, like, help ease my existential terror at the state of everything is watch this guy who, like, details vans, and, like, he just goes over them with, like, a water vacuum and stuff, and I'm just like, this looks like something he would refuse to do. Probably. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, we had so a you have ideas I mean, about how to paint the van. Yeah, we could we're do still the running. solo cup. Uh, yeah, I wanted to do mm. the solo cup uh, 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 paint scheme the whole way around. That'd be great. No, the you know, it's like a do. wizard fighting a dragon. That would be good. <laughs> you know what you got to do? You got to do like uh, uh, an olive drab all over, and then the shark mouth from like the flying <laughs> tigers. <laughs> oh, oh shit! Yeah, that'd be really good. Yeah. yeah, just on the side of the grill. You just got. That's what you got to do. And then, and then you have to paint on the back. Um, Army applicant, <laughs> yeah, or like, or like, blue wives matter or something. Yeah, and that actually, that's the Pennsylvania president's uh, official state car. Yeah, that that that's Pen Force One. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Pen Force One is a van that doesn't really work with a custom stereo and like an amateur paint job that makes it look like a missile. And then a bunch of bumper <laughs> stickers in the back that are super confusing. And like contradictory. You want yeah. like a Bernie one and a Trump <laughs> one at the same time. Oh, and like it, a Tom Steyer one. Yeah. <laughs> like like one that says lock her up and it's Bernie and Trump high fiving. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. Roz, you wanna tell the Atlantic City story? Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> all right. Yeah, let me tell the Atlantic City story. But now I'm kinda like, uh, I should probably I should probably uh, contextualize this with a couple of pictures. I will send um, you the photo I have of you holding uh, the president's ice bucket. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Trump being elected president of the United States was the dumbest thing to happen, and uh, has made everything <laughs> that much dumber, and I love that for it. <laughs> so we need, to, we need to visit... Here, we're just going to use Google Maps for this. Um... So we need Ooh. to visit the beautiful city of Atlantic City. Atlantic City is mm. a good place, and anyone tells you anything otherwise is a uh, fascist. One might say AC AC is pretty cool. Yeah, they made that show with Steve Buscemi. All right, so uh, here's He's looking the really deal. hot. Yes, here's this is where Monopoly was invented. So here's the deal: we drove to Atlantic City in the van. This is the one road trip we managed to successfully complete in the van because. <laughs> There was this place known as the Trump Taj Mahal, as you can see here, right? Um, this was a casino uh, and hotel. There was also a second hotel next door. That, Doesn't that's look like more, the Taj Mahal. That's the more modern building here, right? That had closed down earlier. But the original Trump Taj Mahal was still in operation 
until two years ago, right? And then there was a massive fire sale, right? So mm. they were... For, they, like, normal reasons. Oh, yeah. Because Trump is the only person who can bankrupt a casino, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, a facility that prints money, and it's like, no, no, actually, we're going to go out of business because we're shit at this. <laughs> now, there were a wide variety of things for sale, at this, including mm -hmm. all the hotel furnishings, which is what we came there for. Um, because I believe we parked, uh, somewhere like at least a, a block away, I think. It wasn't on Presbyterian Avenue. Uh, oh my god. Um, <laughs> Probably. I think we parked, Why do you have a casino no. on Presbyterian Avenue? No, I think we parked I mean, somewhere. There is a land of contrasts. Yeah, no, there, there are some say, people in, place. like, like, Leith who might take exception to that. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> Let me, let me see if I can go back in time in the street view, because you need to see the stuff that was for sale. Uh, ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Okay, so for instance, you see these elephants? Mm -hmm. For sale. They were for sale. They were for sale. Yeah. How much? Oh, God, we didn't look, because we, we weren't in that. They were sold. We were with the general they were sold public. by the yeah, time. They, they all got sold. Yeah. There. They, they were, they 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 were, were like sold? POA or some shit. Yeah. Yeah. So, Cost upwards of twelve dollars. I, I I would be in the market for like an individual letter off of that sign. Like I would buy an A or something. <laughs> so um, oh, yeah, it did not say Hard Rock Cafe at this time. Let me see if there's again a place where we can go where the Street View has some uh, time functions here. But we stood in the line down here, right? Um, oh, you we know, sure to buy did. The president's <laughs> stuff. And and they they said uh, two hour wait from this point, three and a half hour wait from this point. You know, it's only getting worse, right? Uh, can I ask a clarifying question? Uh, is it mostly MAGA people or mostly irony people in the queue it for this? Felt like mostly What's irony your... people. How would you tell? Yeah, that's the thing. It's very difficult to tell. I think it was mostly yeah. irony people. You can, yeah. you can tell because they're recording their podcast. <laughs> yeah, but they were also like all New Jersey people thing it makes it more difficult right oh so neither just <laughs> so some from, just just it was just some like new york city greater new york city area fatsos who were like looking to do a hustle yeah the new jersey the new jersey secret service is like a bunch of italian like failed cop tryouts uh yeah, just who who all work for security guard firms, at, but yeah. who spend a lot of money to go on training. I know who you're talking about. Yes. Uh huh. They spend a lot. They have a lot of opinions about flashlights. Yes, <laughs> for some reason. Yes. All right, give me. Oh, hi, oh hell yeah! Okay, great. Oh my god! What? There's a crane in the way. <laughs> all right. So this is <laughs> what it looked like go. at the time. Oh god. Yeah. Well, notice how there's this banner here. That's where it used to say Trump. Uh, they took the, all the Trump signage down the day they went bankrupt, right? And then there's this this little sign here. You can just it's very pixelated, but you can see it says liquidation sale. Uh, so that's when we were here, right? Oh, that and rolls. so when they said there was a three hour wait, it actually took about fifteen minutes to get in from that point. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they were just trying to. So what you did from there is you went through the main casino floor, right? Most of which have been picked clean. And they said, here are the, here, here are the hotel furnishings you can buy. Here are the, the, the uh, prices they are, right? And I was like, you know, the only thing I wanted to get, I was like, I'll get an ice bucket from the president's failed casino hotel, right? I think that'd be a funny thing to get, right? <laughs> the way yeah, it's it an worked, heirloom. Yeah, the way it worked was you went up... They, they sent you up the elevator to the 50th floor, right? And then you were supposed to work your way down to whatever the lowest floor that was open from, and then you would walk down the hotel. Or, excuse me, you'd take the elevator back down, you would leave, you would pay, right? So, here's what happened instead. Um, we took the elevator up, I believe, to the 50, 49th floor, because the 50th floor was closed off-ish. Yeah. Um, Got some great we managed pictures to get, we, of the death of American yeah. opulence. Yeah, we managed to get up to the 50th floor. Um, and that was was very, very opulent, very luxurious floor. You know, it's a Trump uh, property, of course. So, you know, the 50th floor was at least in a facile sense opulent. Uh, you couldn't get any of the rooms up there. They were all locked as opposed to every other room in the hotel. Um, 
as we walked through and it was like all this stuff that was in there is like not worth getting it was all very cheap and chintzy it was not very good um i did go out on one of the balconies and it was terrifying because you know 50 yeah it was pretty up. fucking alarming now here's the thing that was interesting was that you know when we decided all this shit is really cheap and chintzy we're not going to deal with it we couldn't get out on the roof we tried um <laughs> So we decided, all right, we're going to go down, but we don't want to wait for the elevators. All right, let's walk down the hotel, the the staircase, right? So we did that, right? Now, one of the things about the elevator on the way up is the uh, numbering of the floors went 1, 2, 3, 14, right? And then went 14, mm. 15, 16, 17, all the way up to 50, right? So what happened was we took a staircase that was on this side of the hotel, right? And right. we walked down, I think, from about the 46th floor, and we walked down to the 15th floor, right? And then from the 15th floor, we exited about here, and we wound up on the space here, right? Which, as it turns out, is not 15 feet above, the, uh, or not 15 it's... stories above the ground. No, it was not. No, of course. No, because we walked down these stairs here, where there was a big construction wall at the time, we managed to get out there, and we realized ten floors in this building did not exist. Yeah, we could have stolen whatever <laughs> we wanted because no one was checking the uh, the stairwells. That's also so true. We could have walked out, out of there. Yeah, with... we could have walked out of there mm. with like ten televisions. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> yeah, but it, you know. it, it could have been like sort of East, Eastern Seaboard scumbag Ocean's Eleven. Like, yeah, I went into a casino and I robbed like ten televisions. Yeah, I ro I robbed the president's <laughs> casino. Yeah, yeah, this could have been Ocean's Fuck. Eleven. Yeah, that's a real sense I could have said. <laughs> that is on paper the coolest thing you could do, and yet in practice, it's just like, yeah, I got like a color TV. <laughs> <laughs> I got a color TV yeah, from the I got like, casino. I, I got like I got like eight desk phones <laughs> from the president's casino and they let me walk right out. <laughs> it was the perfect crime. We'll never expect it. And, uh, what do we do? We walk down the Atlantic City Boardwalk, which is nice because Atlantic City Boardwalk is the perfect the perfect combination of uh chintzy and no, nah, it's just it's just like Bizarro World. It fucking rules. I love the Atlantic mm. City Boardwalk. It's great. And then um, I, I'm, uh, I'm sorry, Van, Van, everyone. Um, my yes. laptop is at six percent, and when I plug in the the power cord, I found it crashes GarageBand. Uh, so <laughs> okay. we 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 might we yeah, might ne want next, to move to finish next slide. Right. Next episode is <laughs> Riley's laptop. Oh my god! All right, so I think. So we got the Atlantic City story in. One option is you could save and then plug in the laptop, and and then I've done that a lot. I'm doing <laughs> so much saving. I'm sa I've just saved. I'm going to plug in the laptop now. Pray for me. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Alice, would you would you lead us in prayer? Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I plug it in, and it seems okay. All right. I t fucking there is your proof right there, Riley. <laughs> embrace Islam. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> like if it's if, if if Islamic prayer still works while I'm drunk off my ass, then there's that's like the absolute proof to me. I was about to say, uh, is, is, Islam is the light as it turns out. Um, yeah, so, that 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 Furby was right all along. God. Yes. <laughs> uh, next right. slide, please. Okay. Now that we've had the Atlantic City story, I'm mm, gonna tell uh, the story. I'm gonna tell a couple stories actually here. Yeah, buddy, there she is, to, uh, as of a couple days ago. Uh, so Boy. I will tell the story. What if you... Uh, wh why? Uh, I'm getting, why it, is I'm it getting like there. This? Uh, is this going to be the fabled engine swap? Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get there. <laughs> so, the van, I, I uh, was driving with my dad to Pittsburgh uh, in this van, and it starts to overheat. Uh, and so... We're on the Pennsylvania Turnpike, and we pull off at a rest stop, and I just, like, dump various fluids into it in kind of a blind panic. Uh, these, <laughs> it makes it another 15 miles down the road and just absolutely fucking dies. Uh, I can't turn it on. It's, a, it's, it's, it's uh, like, completely destroyed. Probably because the engine is full of, like, <laughs> piss and mountain well, dew. Probably. So. I didn't know it at the time. And so... Uh, we, A, me and my dad call my mom, 
to uh to basically come get us as we figure out a tow uh and get it towed to the shop in like Somerset, Pennsylvania, where the only notable thing that's ever happened is that's where Flight 93 went down. Uh <laughs> and so we uh the the guy's like, yeah, uh I can't fix this. Uh and as my dad is getting out of the, the tow truck vehicle, he slips and falls and breaks his arm. So Jesus. the van, in an, in an act of vengeance, uh, <laughs> tried to assassinate my dad, which I thought was pretty rude of it. Uh, <laughs> so I, why did why did your dad announce the formation of a socialist <laughs> government that was going to do land reform <laughs> moments before getting out of the this van? This is my dad's punishment Look, for being a. The malice. van was the legitimate prime prime minister of the country. It was elected <laughs> by over twenty percent of the voters. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, it gets eventually towed back to York. Uh, absolutely fucking miserable. Um, and uh, the the plan when I had bought it was to do an LS swap. The LS is the motor that comes out of a Corvette because I wanted a Corvette. Uh, but I uh, basically uh, I had to fix all sorts of other shit in this van that I never really got around to because I don't live in York. Uh, and so I did end up buying an engine block or an engine from a guy just from like a dude on Craigslist who had done his own engine swap. And he showed up at 730 in the goddamn morning uh, with this like <laughs> flatbed truck. And he had his winch and just dropped the replacement engine in my parents driveway. And he like packed the fattest lip of anyone I'd ever seen in my life. <laughs> and I just want to point out that the one bumper sticker he had on his truck was actually a window decal, had a picture of the continental United States, and it said, fuck off, we're full. And it was just York County. It was the most York fucking county thing that's ever happened to me. It was this, like, perfectly nice dude who I know is super racist talking about dip and this engine at, like, 7 30 8 a.m in my parents lawn as the neighbors are looking at us and like all this other shit's happening uh i remember trying to give it a jump and how we did that was to drive my mom's subaru across our front yard i will send that photo to you Roz, and hooking that up with jumper cables and the neighbors like coming out to yell at us about it uh so <laughs> that was yeah so as of now that's basically uh where the van is today next slide please so I, I feel like in britain there are a lot more fights because a <laughs> you don't have anywhere to go i, I did block like, out my mm. username on the second photo uh and you can't see the second photo anyway uh no. so so we have here uh we helped a friend of ours move it was the one useful thing the van ever did uh, we helped a friend of ours move, and they have a bulldog, and we took the stuffed bulldog and used him as our mascot for the day. There's, a real, there's a real bulldog, and then there's a stuffed animal bulldog. A version of that bulldog, yes. Yeah, exactly. So why does why does every picture of the van look as if the aspect ratio is off? Uh, because I'm <laughs> real bad at taking photos. No, oh, I don't think oh. you are. I no, think that's the van. It's the van. Yeah. <laughs> it's the, the van. Yeah. The, the van is sort of like a the van is a slight Dyson sphere or hypercube. Yeah. It's like, like it's, stretched in a way that it shouldn't be. Yes. Uh, but, like I don't think you can model this van in Blender. No, uh, but er earlier when I was saying earlier when I was saying that I think the reason the British have so many more sort of you know, like fights over nothing. Uh, as opposed to Americans, who just do a lot of posturing over nothing and a lot of peering into one another's lives sort of incessantly, is that you guys have so much more space. Like, if there are very few places in Britain where sort of people live in any sort of number where you have enough space that you could drive a Subaru across a lawn to give a motor a jump start, but also that your neighbors would be close enough to, like, come and take an interest in what you were doing. Um, and, and America seems very unique in this regard. Mm. Yeah, yeah. It's a history <laughs> of the subdivision, which we don't really have. I think not. Uh, like we we no we have it, but like we have it in certain bits of the home counties in Essex that are like super Americanized anyway. Mm. Uh, and then like little bits of like 
I don't know, uh, north of Bristol, weirdly enough, but mostly we don't. And it's, and it seems very straight. That's why I, so many of these stories, I keep thinking, yes, this could only happen in America because there's just no space for this to play out in Britain. See, and now you don't have cool vans. Exactly. We don't. No cool vans. No, we only have white vans instead of brown ones. Bro. Yeah, yeah, we have white, we have white vans and they're often politically charged. Mm. When was the last time you saw a taupe brown Ford Transit? <laughs> I honestly never. fucking the last... never. They don't they don't offer them in that. No one paints them in that. Uh they're just they they're, they're just white vans. They don't yeah, no one this, you can have a van in any color so long as it's white. And that's mm. basically also a Britain's immigration policy. Oh god. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the last time I saw a van in non standard color, I was in Canada. So, uh, the, uh, oh, Jesus. I also remember Do Not Eat, uh, Roz yelling, God's not real, buy a fucking car at the Amish. It was a thing you did. <laughs> yeah, I did do that, yes. You, you, you were cancelled for doing internet atheism. <laughs> like, we're, like, we're, we're gonna Amish? do a, a, a... Listen, we could do a whole episode about the Amish. There's a lot of problems oh. with the Amish. We're, we're gonna do a cut of this versus the comments that, like, the official podcast account, but clearly also you <laughs> made when someone tried to cancel me for being like Christopher Hitchens is burning in hell for, dis <laughs> for denying Islam. <laughs> I, I, I just want to say to the Amish, God is not real by a car. <laughs> no, by a train. <laughs> Fuck. We have God. We have not the real, keystone. Allah real, by a the car. The Amish Excella, man. No, train. Buy a train. The Mennonites mm. are fine. I stand the what Mennonites. We... They're nice people. The Amish, yeah, go, go fuck we... yourself. What we need to do is we need to do Doha, and we need to, like, invite the Amish to Islam. They have the beards already. They're most of the way there. That's true, uh, yeah. We, we can get them the rest of the way there. Look, all you have to do is, like, turn the meeting hall a little bit to the east every day <laughs> so they don't notice. You, have you yeah, seen, like have you seen the, yeah, have you seen the Ar Amish like barn moving video where they like pick up the barn and they actually yeah, move like it and yeah. turn it? It's like, yeah, mm. well, you know, if we turn it in the right direction, it's a mosque now. <laughs> and that's how we got the Hagia Sophia. Hmm. This is true, yes. All right. It would take a lot of people to move that. That is all I've got on the van. Please buy my van. Uh, and you get a free extra engine. Yes. You get two engines with the van. How much do you want for the van? Uh, honestly, at this point, if someone wants to just come fucking take it, they can have it. <laughs> um, what about a new Patreon tier? Uh, van. The loser gets my van. <laughs> talk about this. Yeah. Yes, wait, I think there are, two, there are, what, two new Patreon tiers. There's Pennsylvania Secret <laughs> Service and Van. We do have to make that one. We have to make the Pennsylvania Secret <laughs> Service both tier and merch. I, I will uh, absolutely it, wear a Pennsylvania Secret Service shirt if you make one. Justin, Please make Justin, one. Justin, you, you, gotta, you gotta talk to the Union Printer guy about making some, like, uh, Pennsylvania Secret Service shirts. I would absolutely oh, yeah, wear sure. a Pennsylvania Secret Service shirt uh, as long as the yes. van is on that shirt. Oh, yeah. Absolutely, uh, no, of course. Oh, <laughs> it's it, it's like a bunch of guys in flat brims with sunglasses, like with their fingers to earpieces, <laughs> standing in de defensive formation around the van. Oh no! I like it that they're running with one hand on just a yes. terrible panel van. <laughs> yes, that's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and they all—they're all wearing shorts, and it's clearly winter. <laughs> yeah, mm. that's just me. It's just a whole bunch of me. <laughs> I have my own secret service. Secret service. <laughs> oh. All right. Uh, do we have anything to pitch? Uh, uh, listen what? to Trash Future once again. Yes. Yeah. Listen to Trash Future, uh, the podcast where we talk about stuff. It's me and Alice uh -huh. uh, and it's, some it's, other it's, people. Yeah, it's, it's me and Riley, and some. I, I don't drink when I record that one, but I drink when I record no. this one. We, uh, we we're very strict about timing and structure on Trash Future. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I I become a salafist for like an hour a week, and then afterwards I pour an entire bottle of rum into a glass that has had a bottle of like Pepsi waved at it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a, you're, yeah, it's Pennsylvania Winston Churchill. 
Oh fuck, that's true. It's, yeah, the, 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 this is this is the Pennsylvania martini. All no, it needs is like just... to be drunk out of like a. We will a fight on the Jersey cup. Shore. We will fight on the. <laughs> we will fight in into Altoona. Mm. We will fight in uh, Williamsport. <laughs> Prime. Pri- <laughs> It's a Prime Minister Churchill. How 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 dry would you like your your Pennsylvania rum and coke? Uh, yes, just wet. Put it in a cracked plastic <laughs> cup that had Pepsi in it yesterday. That's how you get that those interesting flavor. Dude. Bunch yeah. of dead flies uh, in there. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, uh, I, I'm sorry. Uh, Pennsylvania Secret Service is absolutely a joke. We're going to carry over to Trash it, Future, it, and they're not going to yes. know what we're talking about. We're going to have to have some intertextuality. <laughs> If you listen to one, you have to listen to the other. Sister podcasts. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. All right. All right. Mm. I'm set. All right. So, so we have. So so we've done the podcast, and this is the end. Um. Mm-hmm. Um. Anyway, uh, join Philly Transit Riders Union. Oh yeah. Uh, you can see yeah. me sometimes talking about stuff in real life, vote, not votes. on a podcast. Mm, vote for Rebecca Long Bailey for Labour leader, I guess. Yes. Uh, vote, vote, vote Becky Long Bailey, I guess. The <laughs> ringing endorsement. <laughs> <laughs> it's what she deserves. Yeah. I don't even understand the labor politics now. Like, what? 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 what what's the, nobody does. Yeah. What's nobody the does. does. Uh, I don't have twelve hours to record another podcast to explain <laughs> how. Well, you, you, we'll, we'll just we'll, we'll tie it into like the Airbus episode. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. We'll do that. All right. All right. So that was that was a podcast, I guess. Yes, I will stop recording now. All Damn. right. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. <laughs>